Hey guys, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Last time we were searching around this crazy, uh, crazy ward, I guess. I don't know, it's where they keep all the crazy people anyway. Some dude, god as hell, nice and quiet. is uh, in using these people for experiments. Well, maybe not, maybe this person. This person? Maybe this person. And we've got these flesh constructs going on and stuff. Ah, it's creepy. Yes. So, supposed to be interviewing some guy called Graham. Find out what the hell's going on over here with these guys. Just patience. Apparently he's in the North Ward. Where that is, I have no idea. Ooh, loot somebody. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. Some good old lockpicks. Alright, what we got here? What's this? Talk to this guy. Keep different witches in the cell back there. We've had incidents. Can we? Can we not go there? Apparently I can't go there. God damn it. Why not? Alright, we'll continue. Just go around in a circle. God damn it. Alright, so there's nothing down there. We can't get through that door. Gotta go through here. More flesh constructs. This is the place we couldn't get in. Why can't we get in here? We need a key. Some kind of key. Where the hell are we gonna find a key? Where haven't we searched? Don't tell me, I gotta search every single one of these. Patient. We searched there. God damn it. We gotta search every single one of these cells. Find some kind of key. Where the hell would we find the key? Nothing here. What the goddamn hell? Did we go in here already? I think we did. There's Azo. Let's talk to this guy then. See if we can get a key off him. Round faced, bowling man turns to fish. His upper lip pulled upward slightly by his pointed nose, exposing his upper teeth when he scowls. What is the meaning of this? Oh shit, this guy is squeaky. Must be doing any more experiments. I don't have you seen any unusual behavior out of your patients. Heard you were demoted. How did it happen? I'd like access. Let's, let's not try and, uh, like, aggravate him. Let's just go with the, uh, let's get some access. Out of the question. Those patients are in isolation for a reason. Ah, oh, perception's not doing well. I've seen your records. I know what you're doing with them. I've been given permission to conduct my investigation and you best cooperate. Mm, yes. My answer is no. Whatever you're looking for, those patients will not be able to help you. The head warden will stand by me on this. Ah, uh, get them. Let's try one more time. Let's see what happens if he says this. Those are private. You have no right. He pulls up his fist and digs his teeth into his index finger, growling. Uh oh. Fine. Speak to them for all the good it'll do you. I'm sure the discussions will be fascinating. I'm sure they will be too. Excellent. Put heavy care probably nearly slammed down on the floor, but he'll hand it to you. Okay. Let's leave this guy. I don't want to fight him yet. So we fight him. It's just gonna cause all kinds of shit. So, we can finally get in this door. Let me in. All right, here we go. Boom. Who we looking for? Graham. Is that his name? Who are you? Is this my face? Tell me. Uh, nope, that's not him then. Can't get in that door. What about this one. Thundering sky, rain of blood, innocence must drown. Holy shit, that is crazy. What about this guy? Ah, here we go. This man has the look in his eyes of a haunted, an hunted animal. And at your approach, he staggers backward to the far corner of his cell, halfway appearing as though he would climb the walls if it would get him further away from you. He cries out a bizarre, primal utterance like nothing you've heard before. <clears throat> you can't hide from me, let in keys by. I need to ask you some questions. Let's uh, go with the subtle approach first. He looks blank. And clearly understands us. He opens his mouth to speak, but the words come out as half formed as though they were, his tongue was cut out. They are impossible for you to discern, if indeed they are words at all. His mind has been broken. Watcher. Some trauma, some cruelty is at work. As a run, Sparrow was on you, on you against your will, didn't he? There are things I need to know from you. Alright, so we can we need some more per perception, goddammit. Jesus. Let's keep going with the calm. Looks in the city, slowly tender, he steps closer to the front of the cell, and as he does so, for the first time you can perceive his soul within your ken. Within my ken. <coughs> it's been shaped as though made by some jagged instrument and large expanses of it have been gorged out entirely. If you're no barriers of resistance, if you want to, you can look inside. Let's look inside. He's fucked up anyway. Oh. Project out towards the main soul and fully emerging with it, its confusion and fear becoming yours as it whisks you into its depths. You're in a cell, a key turns, the door creaks open, and the 
neglected hinges. Thoughts come to you in waves and incomplete, broken, fearful. Snag at the door is a rotten, balding man. His upper teeth and pointy nose remind you of a rat. He beckons, apologizing. You don't want to go. Anything else in your mind is singed word, and word is no. But it dissolves before it reaches your lips. You press against the back wall, cornered. You cry out. In darkness, you fight against unseen restraints. You cannot move your arms or legs. The man walks into the room carrying a lit candle. Immer it's merger flame. Mega flame, sorry. Casting long shadows across books. Machinery straps bind your arms and legs. Cold metal subscribes the crown of your head beneath your chest. The man is sorry. He is in need of more materials. They dismantled his work and he needs another source. He needs to show them he was right. He thanks you. And he turns up and you feel yourself begin to crack with from within. And you feel the pieces are torn away. Like having insides chewed by a horde of rats. Oh my god, let's keep searching. Here we go. Another night, heavy footsteps outside your door, coming for you. You look through a slit in your door, the flesh giant. The artificial being just outside, but facing the left, facing the end of the hole, the boy there. The boy looks with interest at the giant, then collapses to the floor. Like a shed snakeskin, the giant convulses for a moment, then rights itself, turns away and leaves. Decouple from Graham's soul. Come to see you, still wide-eyed. Wild eye, but somehow more present. He nods at you, then walks back to the end of his cell. Speed to the patient at the end of the hole. All right. Yes. We're getting somewhere now. These poor people. Whoa. This isn't the treatment that they were promised upstairs by the cushioned seats and lush carpets. You're telling me, kinda. Is that the cure for soul sickness? To be thrown into a cell and subjected to the whims of your captor? Well, apparently. But let's have a look. They've made great events, and I'm sure they'll have done. These animals are as mad as their patients. These lunatics are... These lunatics are... And wastrels are at least so they serve some purpose. Ah, we can't be cool. Maybe it is. How would you know? I doubt the wealthier citizens have the same experience. What were you expecting? I've seen sickness and the madness exhaled. Or else treated like contagious vermin. I cannot believe that this is the kindest alternative. But if all the world treated it like this, the sanitarium would never survive. What did these patients do to warrant such conditions? Uh, there are just so uh, as many who come here and are cured of ills, people who would otherwise be cast aside. Here's the, s here's the source of all the knowledge you were so giddy about. Holy shit. Let's get moving. So we can't do the resolve ones. Hmm. People. Ooh, la, la, la. We don't. I've done all that. So let's just do that. Just one thing to be told as much. Another to see it yourself. Let's be on the way. This place gnaws at my soul. Kind of tourist me like that. Here we go. Oh, so grim. What? Willowy, abs absent boy stands in the center of his cell, gawkish and stoop-shouldered. He stares straight ahead. The occasional blank blink is only movement, and it is unclear whether he registers your presence at all behind his glassy, doll-like eyes. In this state, the barriers between your souls and his are thin and porous. Easy bypass if you should wish it. Amen. Right, here we go again. A lot of soul searching this time. You close your eyes and edge forward towards the boy's soul, and as you near, a sudden malice it comes over you. You are cold and warm all at once, sweating and shivering and straining for breath, as you did on the caravan journey. So you approach is the wrong one. Paras, paras, parasitic plant that strangles its host. It is predatory and pitless. You have crossed paths with it before. Too late does it occur to you to react. And you already feel yourself plunging into some interminable abyss of thought and memory. You're standing in the cell now. The same cell in the sanitarium. The halls are moonlit and empty. You are waiting at the far end of the ward. The door opens, revealing a flesh golem in silhouette beneath the stone archway. It makes its usual rounds. The same stops every time. This, the misforgotten child of the pondent craters. When the construct is close, you call yourself up and spring forward, passing out of the boy's body as though it were a membrane. You sense his body behind you, clubs into the floor, a puppet whose streams are cut. You're rushing towards the golem now, 
bodiless as it goes to the wind quickly you think to yourself quickly and you feel the strength hemorrhaging from your soul as you dart towards the makeshift of our nation you pass into the golem show and overtake the soul implanted within encircling it suppressing it and contained in his in this new vessel you're strong again holy crap this is crazy <coughs> you, are, you step heavy footed down corridors unheeded by the other constructs and scrutinized but only by the very interesting eyes of the mad Coming at last to an office piled with books and scribble papers and prefers implements of animancy, you set your oversized hands upon a large machine, a nest of gold globes and tubes and coils in the center of the room, and go to work, bending wires and unsetting alignments. Your surroundings are pulled past you, or perhaps you pull past them, and they dissolve into a blur, but they settle in pl into place again. You're aside on a clear day. Standing in front of a crowd stacked high above you on the tiered seat to the amphitheater, you are acting for the crowd, standing deliberately still, but this is no play. A body man with a rodent like face like features is strapping you to a machine, the one you are tempered with. You see your arms for the first time, short and fleshy, unmistakably those of a little girl. This body is not truly yours, your mind still holds the same determination, the same hard heartedness as before. The body itself is cold and vacuous. Unlike the others, this one has no soul of its own. Good lord, this goes on and on. The man speaks, and the crowd applauds with infusion. Wherever you hear his entrance, bear witness. Bear witness. He's more of a squeaky kind of voice, kind of guy. He says, and he pulls a lever. The machine shivers and sparks, and a speed of sweat rolls down the side of the man's brow. The crowd's preemption quickly gives way to awe as a crystal glow fills with radiant mist that casts the entire theater glow. He opens a valve. And the glow crawls through a tube along a length of copper wiring that runs to a set of electrodes beneath your armpits. Oh god. Sounds horrible. You feel like nothing when it reaches you, as it should be, for you have been leading his work astray periodically for some time, altering notes and settings and playing a puppeteer for a hollowborn. But you make it look how people would expect it to look when a body is infused with a soul. The moment the machine goes dark, and the man unstraps you, eyeing you with a scientist is concerned. He looks back at the ground and Behold, he says, but there is obvious hesitation in his voice. Slowly you take a plodding step forward, then another, and another. You look about at the man, giving him the eye contact of which no hollowborn is capable, and the ca crowd gras gasps. The man looks relieved. How do you feel? He asks at a volume meant for the crowd, and this is the moment. At the top of your lungs, you let out a piercing shriek. The man comes towards you, his hands outstretched. But you run the other way, back to the machine. With all your strength, you drive your head into the crystal globe and it shatters, sh striking, striking your head with warm blood. You drive your head down onto the surface of the machine again and again, drawing panicked screams from the crowd. And by the time the man reaches you, your body has already ceased proper function and merely twitches on the ground cold, satisfied. You depart the corpse in search of another unsuspecting host. You put their faith in animancy now. Damn, so we're in the soul of a soul of a guy that can try to go through souls and he's trying to trick the people into thinking that this animancy is not working. Holy shit. You're put again from your surroundings, transcending the boundaries of memories and lifetimes, deeper and deeper into past betrayals and murder lies upon lies that form the thick webbing of plots beyond mortal comprehension. You set a last on a room you've seen before. Expensive with tall device encasing and Adria mo monolith at its centre. The room is filled with people and the people all look at the device. Oh my god, is that a is that our house? Oh finally, holy shit. You're instantly back into reality and what's cat catachronic boy in the cell is looking directly at you, appraising, calculating, there is no mistaking. Now that it is the soul of Theos Ich Achranon, the man you have been searching for that gazes out from that borrow, borrowed husk. A watcher. You made it. You made me into a watcher. I need you to undo it. I believe we share a common past. I'm just looking for some answers. Not just a watcher. Someone who will break those fragile little legs of yours if you don't do exactly what I tell you. Holy shit. We could go really aggressive. But I think we'll go with... <coughs> share a common past. You made me into a watcher. Do we really want to not be a watcher? I think that'd be something that kind of could help us in the past. All right, we'll save the weave. Let's go with this. 
Is that so? He makes no effort to hide his disinterest, but he continues to search your eyes. He makes a slight grunting noise, and his eyes soften for an instant. It seems at that moment that he recognizes you. He opens his mouth to speak, then seems to think better of what he is about to say. His jaw tightens. I know you. You. I know your look. You hunger. Hunger for answers that elude you. It gnaws at your soul. It usurps your reason for being. You are like everyone. I will help you let go. Holy shit. He dodges backward. With startling grace, putting himself out of reach on his face there is no malice only the dispassion of a farmer putting down a sick animal and suddenly he slumps forward what the hell oh shit boom no way oh god don't think we're gonna have to fight these dudes where do these guys come from no say it ain't so oh shit the fucking bed Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Uh, and he's using one of the patients to influence cuz All right, what do we got here? Flesh constructs crazed patients and gram himself. Hmm. I think we need to get these guys over there. Get <laughs> Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Okay. Matilda, you have to knock down Graham. Oh, good lord. Alright, we're good here. Shit, the fucking bed. What's this? Is that. Who's this? That's Matilda. Okay. Maybe we take down Graham. Yeah, okay. Take down Graham. Uh, no, just just attack. Okay. Attack him. Uh, yep. On there. On there. You guys on there. Okay. Matilda. Take down the goddamn golem. Alright, we got that one down. Whew. Alright, we need these two over here. Get off. Uh Heidelman, who's this guy? Is he some kind of patient as well? Okay. Go with the flesh golem. No, don't do that. Hit these guys here. And what the hell? But get freaking feel. What the hell are you doing? You need to hit these guys. We need you. I need you on there. All right. I think that's good. Takamu, bring you around here. Crazy mother. We need you pull the strings on this person. Okay. All right. Holy shit. Things are kicking off. I think I fell. Oh no, we didn't. Nice. Get this one's. Uh, get the patient one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now we got the, got the power to get the skeletons out. Get them out. Why are you guys just sit there? Holy sh sugar. Holy sugar indeed. Please, do that. Theo. Get that right there. That's where we want it. Boom. That's what we need. Okay. Whew. I got crazy for a second. Mark it off this guy. But just just attack that guy. Yes. Right. Everybody attacking? I don't know if everyone's attacking. Alright, something's happening. I'm gonna get down this dude here. Skellies, I need you on these dudes here. Fio! What the hell are you doing? You gotta If you can fireball these guys without hurting everybody, that'd be absolutely Fantastic. What the hell is Connor doing? Connor's not even attacking anyone. He's got to get in there. Along with you, uh, whatever your face is. can never remember your name. You just attack that guy. Okay, attack move. Attack that guy. No. Why? Alright, this guy. What is going on here? Why do all my guys die? Bullshit. Uh, okay. That's not gonna work, is it? You need to knock down. No, you don't. Just attack that dude. Everyone up here. Attack that dude. He's down. Cool. Everybody else on that dude. Everybody on that dude now. Why is Fear not going for that dude? Get there. 
You need to knock down. Flesh gone. Flesh gone shocked. Why is Fear not doing anything? Okay. Let's get them all in place. I don't care if these guys get stuck in there as well. As long as we can kill something, that's all we need. I don't want to use that yet. Uh, okay. Go for that. Hi. Let's go. Anybody not attacking? Just feel. Why is Fear not attacking? Get on the attack. Yes. Oh. There we go. We did it. Just one guy. There we go. Nice. Oh shit, I can't believe we did it. Take him right away. What the fuck? Alright. That's over. Whew, that was close. Well, at least we survived that. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Next time, we're going to find out what the hell happened to that dude in the cell. And I don't have a clue what the hell we do for... Oh, that's completed now. God damn it. Oh. So then we're going to go back to the Lady Weber, I'm assuming, after that. God damn it. Yes? Might go confirm that other dude and just attempt to stop doing these experiments. But we'll see. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment, I'd love to know what you think. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe, I'd love to have you join us. Until next time guys, see ya!